So it was raining just a few minutes ago, even though the sun's out. Uh, we're getting ready to take off on another ride today. Not a real long ride. I think it's about 30, 40 miles one way, but we got some cool stuff to see uh, before we head back here. And then I'll kind of fill you in on everything else that's going on on this trip. So, uh, Kristen's rocking some new riding pants this morning. I don't really know what those things are, but they have armor and stuff in the knees. Yeah. Alpine stars uh, riding shoes. Alan's not wearing his Crocs on the bike this morning. He's just getting stuff ready. Look at me. <laughs> So back out on day two of riding, I guess this is technically day three here, but we left on a Sunday and it's Wednesday, but whatever, you, you get what I'm saying. In any event, I'm back out on the VFR today. Not a real long riding day, but we are going to a pretty cool place. And I believe later tonight we're hopping in a car and we're, we're leaving uh, at least Alan's home for a couple of days and going up well you guys will see it's going to be fun we got a lot of cool stuff planned and then eventually uh you know once we get some new tires on his bike because they're starting to get a little worn uh me alan and nikki will be taking off on about a week-long trip over to austria riding the entire time and it, it's going to be awesome but today's going to be a good day weather looks pretty good uh, it was raining out just a little bit earlier but it's supposed to be sunny the rest of the day temperature's pretty much perfect you couldn't ask for uh for better weather so anyway gonna enjoy the ride this morning go check out what we're going to check out and then uh, enjoy the ride back home so dam right now just making a quick stop here check out the view let me see if I get you guys a little better one monument we're at right now where the uh, Battle of the Bulge happened, we're actually on U.S. soil, which is kind of cool. Let's go see if uh, we can find West Virginia up on here somewhere.
so awesome tour here at the uh, Battle of the Bulge Museum. Um, that's something we learn about in school, but you don't really get the full effect of until you visit it for real. Just kind of like uh, we were just talking, kind of like going to Gettysburg or Antietam or something like that. So anyway, uh, we've only got about an hour ride to get back to Arlon. Um, as long as Alan doesn't get run over first. All right, so anyway, like I was saying, we got that guy was going the wrong way, so that's part of the problem. We've only got about an hour ride to get back to Arlon. Uh, there is some rain to the west of us that's moving east, so we're going to do our best to try to outrun it. Uh, I think Alan's got his rain liners with him. Of course, I left mine back at the house. Kristen didn't bring hers either. So worst case scenario, we enjoy the ride, but we get wet. Best case scenario, uh, we still enjoy the ride, but we just stay dry. One last thing, it was kind of crazy, you know, I, I made, I think it was two years ago in the videos, uh, we were coming into California to the uh, the tree we drove through, Ch chandelier, chandelier tree, I think is what it's called, and the guy was talking about West Virginia, I made some comment that, you know, they talk about West Virginia and California, but, or we don't talk about California and West Virginia, but they talk about West Virginia and California, and that's kind of the way I feel about this. It's just kind of crazy. We rode or flew and then rode here uh, to Belgium, and one of the first things I see is a monument with West Virginia on the side of it, and we're actually on U.S. soil. So, all in all, glad Alan brought us out here today. I uh, had a great time. It does look like it's spitting a little bit of rain, but. Uh, We'll just deal with it. It looks nice and sunny ahead, so we'll see what happens. So like three minutes ago, I'm talking about California and what are we doing? You know, lane filtering which i haven't done since i was in california last time because they well at least i haven't been back to anywhere in the u.s where they now allow it i know we've changed the laws around a little bit but at least in 2017 that was the only place you could do it in the united states i'm happy to see it's being done other places even here in belgium the one thing that would have been nice back there because i don't know if you could see the condition of the streets they're obviously doing work and there's cobblestone i'd much prefer to be on the uh, adventure bike as opposed to the Sport tour, but it's okay, still works. Got no complaints out of this Honda. Apparently you're allowed to walk out on the street just drinking beer too, or at least it's not being enforced if that's not the case. So obviously we did not take the motorcycles up here. We actually took uh, Alan's car. We're staying, we're staying in the Brussels area for the next couple of nights, checking things out. So um, we're gonna meet them in about 10 minutes, go get something to eat. Where the holiday ends, kind of like the US, except get our own blankets. not.
ribs did we eat? God, I am so full. We ate like three cows. Yeah, definitely. Holy crap. like the size of uh, Alan's uh, axle nut on the back of his bike. I'm gonna, but once you get that part empty, you must be extremely careful. Because when you, you go for it, it comes all at once. And you like. <laughs> 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 